How to make medical alcohol when the pharmacies have been looted, every sharp object rusty, and you just got a nasty cut. Every scratch is a potential death sentence in this glorious new world. Infection doesn't care about your will to live. So we turn to chemistry's greatest gift, fermentation. First, find fruit. The mushier and more disgusting, the better. Crush it all in a bucket, a clean-ish bucket. Add water. Wild yeast, the desperate survivor's best friend, is already on the skin. Cover it with a cloth. Let it bubble and stink for a week or two. If it smells like regret and bad decisions, you're on the right track. But that's just weak boot. You need disinfectant. You need to distill. The science is simple. Alcohol boils at a lower temperature than water. Gently heat your swamp wine in a sealed pot with a tube bleeding out, unless you want a fruit-scented explosion. The first vapor to emerge is mostly alcohol. Cool that vapor, run the tube through some cold, questionable water, and it will condense back into a liquid. That liquid is your pride. High-proof ethanol. Clean your wound with it. It'll burn like hell, which means it's working. Just don't drink it, unless you've had a really, really bad day.